At any point, did you ask your son, Will Little, to look at his phone before it was turned over to the police? No, I looked at his phone before it was turned over to the police. Probably a bad question on my part. That's exactly what I was asking. At any point before it was turned over to the police, did you look at his phone? Yes. Okay. Uh, was that upon your inquiry, or did he say, Mom, look at my phone? I was inquiring about evidence I didn't know existed. Um, and that what you put as evidence included text messages between him and a young lady that I'll refer to as M.D. Do you know who that person is? I do. Okay, we're not going to, we're going to try not to say her name. Yeah. If we can help it. Um, and then a group chat among your son and a group of other young men. Yes. You saw both of those sets of conversations. Not on his phone. When did you see or where did you see those? Um, he screen grabbed from his computer and texted it to me. And I had never seen them before. They were a bit shocking. And those text messages were then, were those the same screenshots that were provided to the police, to the authorities? Yes. Did you tell him to provide those screenshots to the authorities? I can't remember if I provided them or if he provided them. I, I honestly can't remember. But, but yes, uh, essentially, yes. I thought they were very important to the case. At any point did you discuss with your son uh, a concern that you had about the content of some of those text messages? No. Did you ever tell him that you believed that certain of those text messages could be exculpatory? No. Did you ever instruct your son to delete certain of those text messages? Certainly not. Did you ever delete any of the text messages in the conversation between no. uh, your son and MD? No. Did you ever delete any text messages between your son or among your son and the, the group that was no. being texted back and forth that night? No. Um, you had a meeting with Trooper Donovan on November 29th, 2017, correct? Yep. And that meeting was for the sole purpose of you turning over his phone to Trooper Donovan? Yes. So in order to do that, the phone is basically like an electronic brick if you don't have a password, right? Right. You knew that. Trooper Donovan knew that. Right. So I object to what Trooper Donovan knew or didn't Sustain. know. So you, I'm sorry, Judge. So you knew his password, Will Little's password. Well, I didn't know his password until he gave it to me. Right. And That's then, and then I knew it. I'd never been on my son's phone looking for anything before. At some point, you learned his password. Yes. And that was before or after you turned the phone over to Trooper Donovan. Before. In fact, you were texting with your son. Uh, on the same day that Trooper Donovan was going to come by and pick up the phone, correct? I don't know. If you say I was, then I was. That's beyond my memory. Um, well, let's look at a document real quick. This is a quick three-page document that's uh, eight and a half, 11, eight and a half by 11 uh, set, of, set of pages that uh, are from the quote-unquote lantern forensic report. Thank you. Um, I'd like to have this marked in its entirety as defense next in order. Ooh. We marked it as, uh, as for ID, didn't we? For ID. Same one? Yeah. For well, I've not previously marked this, but I'd like to have this marked for ID.
Thank you. Yes. So if you could take a glance at that three-page document, I know that's not something that you're familiar with, but if you could tell me, after you've had a chance to look through it, if you recognize some of the contents of that page or those pages. Um, yeah. Did you and your son discuss, uh, before Trooper Donovan arrived at the house, the fact that you were going to turn that phone over to law enforcement. Oh, I'm quite certain, yes. In point of fact, Ms. Unruh, 40 minutes before Trooper Donovan's scheduled arrival at your house, uh, which was 3 p.m., the scheduled arrival was 3 p.m., you and your son discussed what needed to be either deleted or manipulated on that phone, correct? I don't see that anywhere in here. Take a look, if you will, at the second text message down that indicates from mom at a 508 number. I'm not going to mention the rest of the number for privacy okay. purposes. Is that your phone number? It is. Okay. That text message says to your son, quote, take a pic. I think your, pic I think your pictures are still ending up on your old phone, not messages, but pics. That's what that says, correct? I don't understand what that means. Well, you wrote it, Ms. Unruh. Well, I wrote it how many years ago? Take a pic. I think your pictures are still ending up on your old phone, not messages, but pics. I think, it, it, I think that what this probably was was me telling Will that there weren't any messages on there. That there were pictures, but no messages. But I'm I'm guessing this was a long time ago, and I that's not descriptive enough for me. Ms. Unruh, the fact of the matter is that text message to your son is an indication that you and your son were discussing what was and wasn't on his old phone. Oh, and, we were discussing that. And you were concerned about what was and was not going to be on the old phone that you turned over to Trooper Donovan, correct? How do you get that from this? I'm asking you, ma'am. No, but I, I don't know where you're going with it. I don't, I don't understand where you're going with it. You were discussing 40 minutes before you were to do to turn that phone over. Yeah. You had a discussion about which photos and which pictures and which messages were going to end up on the old phone. And you were concerned about that, and you sent that text message to your son in concern about what was and was not going to end up being on that phone. This, to me, is more like... And I'm, I'm trying to interpret something that happened years ago, but this to me says more like, I am not a technology wizard, and for some reason, if he's sending me messages or something on that phone, I'm not getting them. So I'm saying take a picture and send a picture. That's how I'm interpreting it, but 